take that and that. Oh, Mr. Springbottom. What? You're surprised I'm competing in this stuffed animal tournament? You know what? I will make some stories of my own. <laughs> I'll pick up where my last book left off. It was called 31 Ways to Slay a Monster. Mr. Springbottom. Hi, ya! <gasps> Gwendolyn! I'm sorry, Grandma. Oh, I'll take care of it, dear. I came to tell you your grandfather is ready for you. Run along, go have some adventures. Just try to have your next adventure away from my glass vases, please. Now it's time for my favorite part of the tournament the duels. Ha <laughs> ha! You will compete against each other in a duel of strength and a duel of speed, with the winners facing off in a championship duel of wits. The pairings of knights were selected at random, so no complaining. I'm looking at you, Whisper. Any ties will be settled in sudden death. The winner, of course, will gain the knight position. The duel of strength will take place at our fantastical and wondrous floating island. And bring your steed to the tournament theater for the duel of speed. Please unveil the tournament board. I will remain here for any questions. Good luck. Speak. Where exactly is the Duel of Strength? The Duel of Strength will take place on Daventry's own fantastical, wondrous floating island. Head north, then east. You can't miss it. What do I need for the Duel of Speed? Bring your trusted steed to the tournament theater when you're ready for the Duel of Speed. You do have a trusted steed, don't you? Bye. Toodles. Which did you tackle first? Duel of Speed or the Duel of Strength? No one should notice one bell missing. Like? Uh, a generous man. Without him, you and I would not be sitting here. He trusted me with his final request, knowing that no adventure was too daunting for the feather in my cap. I still can't believe you ever weren't king. You, it's not polite to go stomping around on people's backs. Give me one good reason not to gobble you up right now. If you let me go, I can return to you with bundles of royal food. You see, I I'm training to be a knight. If you release me, I'll make sure the king rewards you for your troubles. <laughs> You're a little scrawny for a knight. A long neck and a silly feather like that. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't a goose? Yes, I am quite sure I am not a goose. That's exactly what a goose would say. Lucky for you, Ulfie hates the taste of goose. The feathers are bad for digestion. Now, what do you want from Ulfie, Goosey? Can you share with me why all the bridges seem to be missing in Daventry? Well, little Goosey, until further notice, 
The Bridge Troll Guild is officially on strike. For too long have we, the Bridges, have been stomped on by sharp pointed shoes of the puny guards. And do they care that my back breaks out in an itchy rash from all that marching? Of course not. As Pilar says, for shame, Daphne Tree. We're not going back to work until the kingdom can take better care of their roads. I should be at the meeting. Perofi always shows up fashionably late, <laughs> right when the croissants are served. What are all those weird instruments around the bridges for? Usually those horns are used to summon its associated bridge troll to fill the gap. But we have removed all mouthpieces until we get word from the head of the guild. Ulfi was instructed to keep all his horns hidden from humans. <laughs> I keep mine under my butt. Shh. Is there any way you could let me cross? Hmm, I'm not supposed to do this, but Ulfi needs to pick me up. If you bring Ulfi back a snack to satisfy a sweet tooth, Ulfi might consider letting little Goosey pass. Happy trails. Waddle back briskly, Goosey. Ulfi is starving. I better stand on this side of the rock. It wouldn't budge. Ha! Oh, what a peculiar trap. All right, sugar shrooms. I'd always been a straight shooter, but Ashaka opened my eyes. All right, that one wasn't that bad. Well, thank you. those goblins with swiftness or patience you'll have to wait and see
You rocks to roll. Boy, that is your name, right? Boy, thank the shining stars. Where did you learn to shoot like that? Now, I'm not a native goblin tongue, but I'm pretty sure I made out the words unicorns and majestic museum. Mr. Fancy Cakes is too barbarous for a caged life. Listen, I want to sincerely apologize for my pilfering sausages and thank you for saving me. Give me my money back, you dirty merchant. No problem, no problem at all. Uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four. one. There you go. I'd give you more, but those hoarding goblins looted my cart. And since we are all square, I have a favor to ask of you. Can you deliver this rare and miraculous ingredient to that amateur magic shop in town? It's a snoozing leaf. Be careful transporting it, though. Once Mr. Fancy Cakes ate one of these snoozing leaves and was knocked out cold for days. Well, gotta run. Good thing these shorts breathe so well. Thanks again, boy. I won't forget this. Sudden Auraria. Did the merchant remember that? Ha! The merchant immediately forgot that. Fantastical floating island, only steps away. It's so floaty, you'll be amazed. Almost there, world's greatest and only floating island. Don't turn right, no floating islands that way. Starberries framed a serene view. Shame about that buzzing beehive, though. My love, you're my everything. I might not have enough money for a ring yet, but I just can't wait any longer. Will you be mine forever? I better put this back. Kids, don't stop screaming until Dad pulls over the wagon. <sighs> this was on my bucket list. Get over here. We're waiting. We used all the rides, so figure it out. Remember that? <laughs> the squirrels will most certainly remember that.
joy. Graham the Brave is here. Ah, the little boy who wants to do big things. Congratulations on making it to the next round of the tournament. Our crystal ball told us about the eye you presented. Wasn't the cleverest way of going about things, was it? We warned you about continuing on the bold path. Hopefully you'll use your noggin a bit more in the future. Oh. We don't need any more brash knights in Daventry. No matter your choice in life, we will gladly take your money. Business is business. Now, Chester, can you hand me the frog's breath elixir? Frog's breath elixir? Yes. Uh, where is that? Uh, uh, we seem to be out of... Uh, <laughs> you drank it all again, didn't you? Muriel, my blood sugar was low. Mm -hmm. It's just so tasty. Since you can't keep your mitts off our supplies, we are halting production. This potion will have to wait until that merchant brings us our delivery. If you find a frog, bring it directly to me and I will gladly trade you a sample of this potion. And then I'll have to drink the delicious froggy leftovers. Until then, no more free dips. Our order is finally here. Well, part of it anyway. Chester, remind me to leave a poor review for that merchant on the town board. Ah, this should do the trick. Mmm. It's close, but it still needs that frog's breath. Well, I'm glad I could help further it along. Yes, and as a token of our appreciation, we would like to give you this, this, um, this? This vial of hypnotic powder. Oh, it's expired. It can work. It was just never finished. Let me guess. It's missing lollipop root. Or baby's tears. I can bring you a tuft of Mr. Fancy Cakes fur. Nope. It just needs raisins. Here. Thanks, I guess. Now. Give us one shiny gold coin, and the beautiful blue flame lantern will be all yours. Thanks, dearie. And here's your lovely pumpkin lantern with a glowing blue flame candle. Bizarre holes were burrowed into the forest floor. Where do these holes lead? Hey, how'd my coin get down there? Triumph? How'd you get up there? Triumph's stomach seemed to have led him into trouble. I'd have to find a way to get him down. Stay put, I'll be back with help.
I tucked the berries away for later, even though I was craving a cliffside snack. Graham, a little squirrel told me the news. Oh, I'm deeply sorry you lost a friend. This horrible tournament spawns a vicious cycle of violence every year. When will Daventry recognize that slaying ferocious beasts shows no heart? An innocent creature lost his eye, and a good man lost his life. But what do I know? I'm just a humble baker. Please, let me know if there's anything I can do in your time of need. Perhaps Grandma's sugar shroom pie can ease the pain a little. These starberries are perfectly ripe, just squishy enough, and with a faint scent of musky cabbage. Now, if you can find me the sugar shrooms, She's all yours, for the discounted rate of one shiny gold coin. Wow, these sugar shrooms look amazing. Just the right amount of shroomy and not too sugary. Now, if you pass me one shiny gold coin, Grandma's giant star shroom pie is all yours. Oh, thanks for the patronage. Share this pie with a friend or two, or three. <laughs> and good luck in the tournament. <laughs>